Because beets have such a pretty, deep, rich red color, they make for a pretty salad for Valentine's Day. Let me show you a really delicious salad that's easy to make. For this salad, you'll need some mixed greens. These happen to be baby spring greens. You'll need some goat cheese, some beets. They can be roasted, boiled, or um, steamed, or even microwaved. These happen to be roasted, and some sugared walnuts. To make these sugared walnuts, I took a half a cup of walnuts, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of brown sugar. I melted the butter and the brown sugar in a saucepan, added the nuts, stirred them to toast them, and then laid them out on parchment paper to dry and harden. And so now I have some really nice, crispy, tasty sugared walnuts. You may be able to buy these pre-prepared, but if you can't, they're pretty simple to make. The beets can be steamed, baked, microwaved, or roasted. These happen to be roasted. I took them whole, I put them on some parchment paper with a little bit of olive oil drizzled on top, some salt and pepper, and then enclosed them in foil and baked them at 450 for about 40 minutes until they're just tender when you touch them with a fork. The salad dressing is a mixture of some concentrated orange juice, some olive oil, and some balsamic vinegar. I put it in a jar and simply shake it up. And here it is. This is just a really tasty Mm, yeah, it's really good. It's sweet, it's tangy, but it's not too sweet to overpower the salad. And um, it's just got a nice body to it. Really yummy. Right with this mixture of ingredients. So I'll take this mixture of our baby spring greens, drizzle some of this dressing on it, and toss it together. I don't like my dressing too thick. I like to keep it light. And then rather than put in our beets and our nuts and our, um, and our goat cheese into the salad now, I'm going to add those to the top of the salad after I serve them because beets with their bright color tend to um, make everything else turn red. So I've got our greens on the plate. We'll just add a few beets, a few of the roasted beets, a couple of sugared walnuts, and some goat cheese, which adds some beautiful flavor, but also adds a nice contrast of some white color. Okay, I need to use my fingers. Sorry, folks. <laughs> you can garnish your salad with a beet rose or serve it without. Either way, you'll have a lovely and tasty beet salad for your Valentine's Day meal. If you toss your salad, rather than put the goat cheese and the beets on top of the salad after the greens have been tossed, you'll get kind of this pink. It looks a little bit messier, but the goat cheese picks up a little bit of the pink color, which is kind of pretty. So if you want to toss your salad beforehand with all the ingredients together, you can expect it to look something like this. Oh, and by the way, when you carve your roses, you will have some scraps. So when I carved these five roses, I ended up with about this much in trimmings. Now it looked like more than this before I cooked it, but I microwaved these for three to four minutes till they were just tender, and now I can add them to my salad if I like. So you can use your trimmings for the salad, and also if you'd like to add variety of color to your salad, there are yellow beets that you can work with, and there are pink beets. If you mix them up, they make for a very colorful salad, as well as colorful carved roses. Here's a variation of the same salad that I just showed you how to make using yellow beets and pink beets in the salad, and a yellow beet rose. If you'd like to learn how to carve lovely roses from beets, turnips, and other root vegetables, you can do so with my Hearts and Roses Vegetable and Fruit Carving video lessons. Thanks for watching. Mm, this really is tasty. Yum. <laughs>